Welcome back to our second session. This is Malik Harbawi, the, your tutor for uh, YMT112. And we will just carry on our session by discussing the second question. Earlier we discussed question one and exactly the point is not creating a class. Uh, so we will just extend this class to create um, a derived class or a subclass. So this one will be our base class or super class and this one would be subclass. Let's go through the question. Write a class called Sang Instructor, Software Engineering Instructor. That is a subclass of Instructor. So we have this class. We have already created it earlier, but the uh, video session became a bit long, so that, that's why I'm creating the second one. Um, and in this case, it is just a subclass of this instructor and then what we need to do, we need to include a private attribute to represent the area of specialization. So there is only one attribute here, which is private. And we should uh, include all possible setters and getters. So setters and getters for only one uh, private attribute. And then we need to write a simple demonstration using a main method to test the available methods of the instantiated saying instructor. Okay, let's go to NetBeans and create in the same package. We will just create a new class and we call it exactly what our question is dictating. Let me use the same rhythm of uh, capital and lowercase and uppercase instructor. All right, so this is our class the same package. Right. So what's requested? Just one attribute and this attribute attribute is uh, discussing or uh, elaborating or declaring the area of specialization. The area of specialization is actually uh, a string. It's, it's a text. could be of a number of words. So in that case, what we are going to do, we can use a constructor to do that, or you can just create it as a, as a private and then using setter and getters to get it like, as we explained earlier. However, let's just go for the um, first, let's go first for the declaration, the private integer, uh, area of specialization. We can call it area spash. Okay, area of specialization. Uh, that's not integer, that's string. Uh, uh, I just forgot. All right, that's a string. So then let's create this time uh, and a constructor for this um, uh, class. So the constructor is actually a special method that has the same name of the class. We don't have to specify any uh, access specifier in this case. You can use public though. However, it's not really needed. And since we are initializing this uh, area of specialization, we can use a string as a variable here in this case or a parameter to, to be received. And we can just use um, Spash specialization. Okay. Now, uh, sync. Okay, I, I forgot. I missed G. Okay, that will do. Now we need to initialize it. So we have received the argument. Just assign area of specialization to this argument. Area spash specialization. Area spash. Okay, that is for the specialization. Right. So this is our constructor and will be called once we instantiate this class. So setters and getters. Let's start by setter. Uh, public. And now we are setting the area of specialization. So we need to uh, return nothing. Point. Set. We can use specialization okay and we need to receive a string and let's say s is enough 
and then um, sorry, then we go to just setting this uh, private member. I usually receive these questions. We have already initialized it from the constructor. Why do we need to have uh, this other method, or public method here for setting? We may change our minds. This is for just instantiation purpose. Later on, we may change our mind for resetting the area of specialization of the same instructor, that's uh, of the same instance, that's possible. And we can do that via this method. Now we provide the argument. So how can we get the area of specialization from outside? We can use a getter to get this area of specialization. So that's a shrink to be returned. Get spec. Here we have nothing to be received as an argument. And then all we need to do is just re returning the area of specialization. Right, one thing I forgot, that this one is supposed to be a derived class from instructor. So we will use a new keyword extends instructor and that will make sang instructor is a subclass of the superclass instructor. So in this case, all the possible methods available here will be also available for this sang instructor. And all the methods available in instructor will be just restricted to instructor, not, uh, sang instructor, will not be available for instructor. So the, this is the idea of inheritance. So we have a class which inherits all the available attributes and uh, methods from the super class, and we can use them for any purpose. And then in this case, we can create also our own special classes or our own special, sorry, our own special attributes. This is the idea. An instructor may have um, designation, experience, and rank, and also area of specialization. Why? Because we are speaking about a specific instructor, not just uh, any instructor. So in that case, we may add other attributes and this software engineering instructor. It could be maybe courses taught or taught courses, etc. So how can we instantiate it? Now, this is a derived class and this is the super class. How can we instantiate it? Uh, we, we can create a main method here if we would like to, or we can create it separately. It's up to you. If you want to create a separate um, main method, we need to create a, a derived class. We can do that. Let's do it. Uh, let's say sang instructor demo demo is just for demonstration purpose. And in this class, I'll create a main method to demonstrate the purpose of this um, saying instructor class public static void main and then what is the purpose of creating this base class is actually to see how we can instantiate it how we can access to the uh, methods available in it and also the met methods available in the super class here in order for us to instantiate we will do what we used to do earlier class name, instructor, object name, the object that we want to create, instructor, inst, that's enough as an abbreviation, saying instructor, okay, and then equals new, saying instructor, comma, okay, instructor, and remember that we have a constructor here, so we need to provide a string while uh, instantiating, and the string should represent the area of specialization. Or it could be of anything, let's say digital uh, security, for example, it's just a possible area. All right, now we have an object, instant, instructor. So this is an instant of saying instructor, 
and we can use what kind of methods now look inst dot now look get specialization I think I added T here it doesn't matter but in that case we have to write it the way it is set specialization do we have other methods for sure we can access also other methods now look get designation what's get designation is it a method available in this subclass no it's not it's actually a method available in the superclass however we can access to it and this is what we are going to do we will set the designation the experience we will get the rank and we will also get the uh, sp specialization all right so we will do as we did earlier uh, set designation des and here we will provide uh, what we said earlier. Let's use professor, okay, as a designation, and then inst dot set experience and provide the areas of experience. Uh, let's say let's say nine, less than ten, and now let's do one more step. Now we have the uh, designation, the experience, we can get the rank, and we already have the area of specialization. So we can display all of them. Let's try to do that. Okay. All right. The designation. Is and here get inst dot get designation and then the years of experience actually I don't need is here it's just simple definition inst dot get experience then the rank this is not entered we can get it based on some method so get rank so this is the rank Right, the last one, the area of specialization. Uh, I think I added T earlier, let me check. Inst dot, yeah, set, not get. So this is get specialization. Yeah, I added T. It doesn't matter actually, but just write it the way it is. Uh, I, I meant to write it actually spec. spec only without T. So specialization just spec as a, an abbreviation of that specialization. And now we can just run this um, demo and see how the output comes. The designation, professor, the years of experience, nine, the rank is two, and the area of specialization, digital security. Now you may see how the concept of inheritance works. If you create a derived class which is a class that extends another class. So this is the base class, this is the, sorry, this is the subclass and this is the base class, and or this is the superclass and this is the derived class. We can access to all methods, uh, of course, the public methods available in the superclass. And in this case, we allow specialization because in our world, we have actually a concept of specialization available or applied in all areas approximately uh, or actually in most of our cases uh, or most of our applications we have this area of specialization available in our world so in that case we allow this specialization and that helps us to create derived classes where we can add some attributes and some new methods while we have already uh, some common methods in the base class that's enough for this session and I'll record another session for other questions. Have a good time. Goodbye.